Um, and certain things that we pay closer attention to. We pay close attention to voters. I don't want to say we shrug off the non-voters, but we pay close attention to the voters. And uh, we may know that by our relationship with you. Maybe we know you in some other context. And so when we see that name, we know you and we have a sense of whether you're a voter or not a voter. It may be from the address on the postcard or the address on the letter we received or the area code from the uh, telephone call that we received. We know they're from our district. That makes a difference if you're from our district or from somebody else's district. We pay much closer attention if it's from your own district. And we may know you from a certain workplace. Uh, you represent this company or you represent this organization. Uh, we know the people of that organization or that company and we have a pretty good sense of whether they're a voter or not. And we do have access to voter records. And if, if there's a particular person who's been a stone in your shoe and you're trying to decide, you know, how involved do I want to get with this person or not, sometimes we do ask staff, check the voter records, see how bad a problem I have here with this person. Uh, do they vote or don't they vote? And that does make a difference. So be a voter. And if you're not, or if you're not in my district or in the district of the person you're contacting, don't perceive that as hopeless. Make a contact anyway. If it's important to you, if it's important to your cause, send the postcard, send the email, uh, especially if it's a statewide issue, um, it, it's good for people. To, I know I've had issues where all of a sudden I get to office in the morning and there's 400 emails today, and, and it catches our attention. Uh, even though they may have all come from Macomb County, uh, it catches our, our attention uh, if we get those emails or not. So it's, it's worth doing, but if you're a voter in my district, it, it catches my attention a lot more quickly. Just a, a note about emails. Um, Emails are probably lowest on the list and when it comes to the hierarchy of making a difference, but that's not to say that it's not a valuable thing. Uh, I oftentimes get all sorts of emails. It's rare for me to know the names of all the people who sent the emails. We do respond to emails. I do get a summary of what's in the emails, but uh, um, a little later I'll talk about uh, what makes a difference as far as the type of personal contact, but that one's a little lower on the list, but certainly worth doing. Okay, I said be a voter. Second, be credible. It, it, it's very important uh, that I believe that you know what you're talking about, and, and we can get a sense for that from the conversation or from uh, the information that's provided to me. And, and I think it's very important to show a certain amount of respect. Uh, I don't think politicians are held in real high regard in the minds of uh, the public, but uh, it, it, it comes across whether uh, you truly believe that I have an ounce of brains or not. Uh, and if the, if the first words that come from you on the phone or in the letter or that's the stupidest thing I ever heard of in my life, already you've got me thinking, oh boy, I don't know that we're ever going to see eye to eye on this, and, and I don't know how much attention I'm going to pay to that. I, sometimes you just write somebody off as saying, uh, well, you know, we're never going to agree. But if, if, you, if you approach it in a way that you want to help me to understand something, that you want to educate me on something, uh, that makes a big difference. Rather than uh, getting my defenses up right away, um, if, if, if I can see that you're reaching out in some way, it makes a difference. I urge you not to exaggerate uh, when you make the case. Use the facts. We're open-minded. Well, 
most of my colleagues are open-minded, but uh, facts do persuade. So facts are very important. Don't exaggerate. And if there's a sense of urgency, make sure we know that there's a sense of urgency. It does make a difference. Uh, I know that we had a situation here at, at Rudiman Creek where there was poison in the water and kids were playing in the water. And there was a real sense of urgency that we've got to do something right now. And, and that, that catches the attention of the legislature. Uh, and and, and uh, we want to make sure that we can correct uh, unsafe situations. I know that in all these areas of concern, uh, there is a sense of urgency that's out there. And, and that has to be communicated. Know your goal. When, when, when you communicate, whether by letter or personal or whatever it might be, telephone call, know what you want to accomplish in that. Are you just blowing off steam? We try to analyze that. Well, you know, is this just somebody blowing off steam at me, or are they trying to change my mind in some way? Uh, are they providing information? Know that before you make the contact. And try not to drive a wedge between you and me or you and your legislator. Uh, there are some of us... <laughs> oh. I, I guess I believe I'm open-minded. There are some of us who are open-minded. There are some of us who are quite closed-minded. They're going to take a little more time. But if you drive a wedge right away at the start, it's going to take a long, long time. You might be open for term limits at that point. Uh, but uh, make sure that uh, um, you don't you don't start off on the wrong foot so that you're never going to be able to uh, be considered credible the next time around when you go in to, to visit. Um, 